Hey, great morning, great morning, great morning. Welcome to another Monday. What week are we in? I think we're in week 12. Wow. That's a milestone. <laughs> so that's how, when I talk about consistency, <clears throat> you know, it's not about showing up perfectly or having it all right all the time. It's just about showing up. And so when it comes to consistency, we just have to be willing to keep showing up and not worry about what if something goes wrong or um, any of those things. This morning I was reading a devotional and it was talking about anxiety and thrill versus threat, thrill and threat. And it was talking about how most of the time, if we really look at things, when we are celebrating something, it provides us with a thrill, but that can also immediately turn into a threat. And it's the awareness of knowing that that can help us get through it. So as I continue my journey and you know, I, I do deal with a lot of anxiety habitually. And so for me, I do things like this where I get my heart centered my mind centered. I learned how to be still a little bit more. Um, and just learning how to practice those things, put the things in practice that are working and continuing to put the things in practice that are working. Because if I stop putting those things in practice, into practice, I know that I can um, spiral back. And so I have to be very, very careful Everything that I do is more intentional these days. Um, I have to make a lot more intentional decisions, whether it's how I communicate with other people, if I communicate with other people, um, how I communicate with other people. It's very, very intentional because at the end of the day, I have to be uh, cognizant of being able to keep my peace and understanding that I am perfectly imperfect and I have to, you know, go through these things and encounter them in order to become who I'm meant to become. So that's the journey that I'm personally on. And so I read a lot about anxiety and being still and faith and just whatever it takes, you know. I have devotionals that I read in the mornings. I do these videos now. And, you know, it's just about learning ourselves and also learning how to listen to others, even if we don't want to. Ouch, right? Learning that not everybody is out to get us <laughs> and that God places people in our lives, not just people that we do get along with, but also people we don't get along with because we need those people just as well. We need those people to show us where we still need to work and um, show us how to communicate with a broad spectrum of people. So don't just be around the people you do get along with. Learn how to tolerate the people you don't get along with because at the end of the day, they're going to grow you just as much. And these are things that I wish I had told myself, you know, a year ago, but I'm learning now and that's all that matters. So that's another thing. Don't worry about where, you know, what you might have messed up on before, because as long as it taught you something and as long as you were willing to um, learn the lesson and not make the same mistake, then that's what it was all for. And you can continue to grow from it and foster it and um you know possibly foster the relationship i have a couple really good relationships with people that we don't see eye to eye <laughs> we really don't one is my sister i love her to death we don't always see eye to eye but that's okay because that's what makes us different and you know we just have to embrace sometimes the fact that we're not going to see eye to eye with people with everyone but we can still have a good relationship with them. And so that's something that I'm personally working on. 
Um, so I do appreciate those people in my life who challenge me in all aspects. I might not like it all the time, but I appreciate them nonetheless. And hopefully, you know, they hear that and know that I do appreciate them. So anyway, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I celebrated my 44th birthday on Friday and Saturday didn't quite go to plan. Um, I let that bother me just a little bit, smidge it, but it wasn't near as bad as it used to be. It used to like literally take me down when things didn't go like I wanted them to go. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yesterday was Father's Day, so I hope all the fathers out there had an amazing day. Um, I always have to, I always share my birthday with Father's Day, so it is what it is. But anyway, I hope everybody had a great day. Definitely want to pray for anyone out there who um, doesn't have their dad in their life. Uh, I know that was been that has been very difficult for me in past years, um, especially the fact that my birthday usually either falls right before, um, right after, or on Father's Day. Um, so it's been difficult for me to actually celebrate my birthday for a long time. Um, so I am appreciative of the um, EMDR therapy that I went through last year and of my therapist who helped me um, kind of heal from that because it was very much necessary. Um, but yeah, so I just want to pray for anybody out there who's, who's you know, struggling because I know Mother's Day is very difficult for me as well. And maybe you don't have your, your father here. So just... Uh, I want to pray for those of you who are in that situation and maybe yesterday was a rough day for you. Um, we've, there are many of us who deal with that and we all deal with it differently. Um, but give yourself some grace and just know that it's okay to not be okay all the time. Anyway, Lord, thank you so much for allowing us to be here this morning. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for your provisions and your faith and your mercy and your knowledge, your wisdom. Thank you for continuing to propel us forward and help us navigate other people that you've placed in our lives. Lord, thank you for forgiveness and, and thank you for forgiving us so that we can learn how to forgive others in ways we may ne never have imagined. Lord, thank you for releasing burdens and grudges and, and allowing us to have this renewed start each and every day with you. Lord, thank you for being the light that shines within us so that when people see us, they don't see us, but they see you. Lord, thank you for literally everything that you place in front of us, because even when we don't see it, everything that you bring us through is to help us grow. Lord, we appreciate you. We worship you. We praise you. And we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. <sighs> All right. Well, I was going to read from the devotional this morning, but my iPad is dead. It's charging. And my phone I'm using. So I'm not going to read that today. But it does talk about anxiety. If you are someone who doesn't sleep very well, um, maybe your brain is just constantly going, I encourage you to do what I had to start doing first thing in the morning and just set a timer for like even a minute, <laughs> maybe two if you can get there and just be still. It's not the easiest thing for a lot of us, but it's something that that you can really try and just keep going with. So I've been practicing this for quite some time. And, you know, the journey is always, you know, it's never linear, but um, <coughs> excuse me, I felt that one coming. Uh, but yeah, the journey is never linear, but it's definitely worth it. Every piece of it. So just begin there. And also in the evenings, you know, put your phone away, put your laptop away, put whatever it is that you can away, spend time with your families, 
if you have that, read a book if you can. If you need a book, I've actually just started reading The Power of One by Ed Milet. So far, so good. So if you ever need a book, ask me. I've got a bunch that I can recommend. All right, so today we are going to go in there. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. Let's not forget about that. It is officially, officially, <laughs> officially, officially a holiday. So congratulations, everyone. All right, so June 20th, God is mighty. God's truth, the Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. But mightier than the violet ranging of the seas, mightier than the breaking breakers of, on the shore, the Lord above is mightier than these. And that's Psalm 93, verses 1 and verses 4. It says, I'll never forget the first time that my husband and I took our three-year-old son, Chad, to see the ocean. As we stood on the Miami shoreline, Chad clutched, clutched our hands tightly while we watched the pounding and smashing of the waves. If we were to harness the energy of breaking waves between the Daytona and Melbourne beaches in Florida, 80 miles of coastline, we generate about 80 million watts of power per second, enough to run a sizable power plant. The next time you're at the ocean, remember that the same God who is mightier than the breaking waves is mighty enough to help you. That's a good one. The ocean is always has always been my safe haven, my place to go um, when I am very anxious or when I do need to just kind of like decompress. Listening to the waves and just being there for a moment can help me tremendously. It's been like that since I was a kid growing up near the beach. I'm, I'm blessed for that. But yeah, so when I was a teenager, that was my saving grace. I would go down to the, the beach and write and just listen to the waves and forget about all the chaos that was going on around me. Um, so I definitely still do that in my 40s, and I don't think that I'll ever stop from that, but that's also why I have to be close to the beach. <laughs> it's kind of a must now. All right, you guys, it has been another amazing call praying for anyone out there who is struggling today just cast your fears on the lord and just understand that you don't have to worry you're not strong enough to worry about everything cast your burdens on him and allow him to be the strength within you that's something that i've also had to practice so if i can do it anybody can that's what i always say so thank you again for being here god bless you have an amazing day and Lord willing, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.